two iconic brands, Chanel and Charlotte Tilbury, two iconic cream bronzers. You are still not knowing which one to get, don't you worry. I'm bringing you right here swatches, side-by-side -side comparisons, everything filmed in natural light in three, two, one, let's do this. Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Not too long ago, I reviewed the new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer from her beautiful skin line. I picked up three of the four different shades. The fourth one obviously too deep for me. I decided to skip on. So I have here fair, medium and tan. And then we have a very iconic cream bronzer from Chanel and that is the Soleil Tan de Chanel that now comes in three different shades. One that is the universal one, it had changed the name to Soleil Tan Bronze 390 and then with the new Levage 2022 collection they have launched the medium shade 392 and also last year they launched a deep tone 395. I know this medium one is new in the market the other two they had been existing like I said universal for many many years and the deep bronze since last year and it's actually a shade that I can use it on myself because I said it many times already that Levage collection from Chanel is not to create um, such a drastic dimension on your face but actually to emphasize your natural beauty give a little bit of glow that healthy glow from summertime but we cannot deny that Charlotte Tilbury she does an amazing job with her line and I had been so so impressed about her cream bronzers that I thought to myself you know what Friends, you need a comparison. And you know that I like to do side-by-side -side comparisons on my face, and we're gonna do that right now. That way you will know which of these two bronzers are best for you. Unicars are right here. The price on the Chanel Levage currently is $50. The one from Charlotte Tilbury is $75. Charlotte Tilbury is made in Italy. Chanel is made in France. Shelf life 12 months for Chanel, 24 months for Charlotte Tilbury. As far as the ingredient goes, they are actually not identical, but very alike. They both have a good amount of dimethicons. Charlotte Tilbury has mica in it. It doesn't have any fragrance. With Chanel, you're going to find some fragrance that it actually dissipates fairly quickly after applying it. I feel it's more like an experience type of situation. And in fact, the fragrance is pretty much all the way down on the ingredient deck. Both of the formulations, they do have glycol as well as glyceryl, which both of them are really great occlusions. They really help the skin. And one ingredient that stands out on Charlotte Tilbury's formulation is sodium hyaluronic that we know it actually helps with hydration. It's something that you're not going to find here on the one from Chanel. But then again, I do have a lot of experience with that Chanel cream bronzer. And I have to say that it's also nice emollient without being um, one that it will, you know, melt away from your skin, mostly if you are thinking to use these products for summertime. But anyhow, my friends, if you want to know all the details about formulation, like very in-depth reviews of each of these formulas, I do have separate reviews talking about the formula in detail. So I will make sure to leave the playlist for both Charlotte Tilbury and Chanel, where you can find, again, many of my reviews and the reviews of these two cream bronzers. Now let's go to what you came for right here. As you can tell, I already have foundation, concealer on, and all the details of my makeup, all the details of these products, everything will be on the description box below for your convenience. Also, I will be leaving my foundation matches, frequently asked questions. I'm over 40 years old. I do have fine lines, texture, large pores, and I do have dry skin on the perimeters of my face and a little bit of combination skin right here on the middle of my face where I do have my large pores. So pretty much um, after I pass my 40 years old, my skin is kind of like more like a combination skin because of the different areas of my skin. And I mean, I don't have oily skin though, so... Like I said, combination right here, dry right here. And another thing too, I do live in California, which is a drier climate. I live by the coastline, so it's not super dry, like being on the mountains, you know, not like that. But 
I have also lived in Florida last year, so I do have a lot of experience with humidity levels. I'm originally from Peru too. It's not like it's humid, not as humid as Florida, but again, I can give you a little bit of perception of how these products will work for different type of skin more mature skin if i was younger too which those years had passed already and then as far as weather goes but now let's just start with the comparisons i'm going to apply the bronzers on my face i'm going to start first with charlotte tilbury in fair and the lightest one of chanel which is the soleil tan de chanel in universal this is the original one As you can tell, Chanel, it's a little bit more warmer in tone. Well, the one from Charlotte Tilbury in fair is a little bit more cool tone. Do you have it? There's Charlotte Tilbury, and here we have Chanel Universal. On my right hand side, I'm gonna go with Chanel and BK Beauty 106 brush in the shade Universal 390. This is how much product I picked up. Fenty Beauty 125 brush and Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Fair 01. As you can tell, Charlotte Tilbury is more cool tone and therefore it costs it more of like a definition, a little bit more like a sculpting type of bronzer, while the one from Chanel is more like warm it up just a little bit. Is you know, it's just to warm up your complexion, it's not much of like this. I feel is more chiseled. I hope that the camera is able to capture these while this one is just you know a light bronze tone. I went ahead and removed the bronzer reapply foundation on this side and on this side right here I still have Chanel 390 Universal and I thought well what about if we compare it to Charlotte Tilbury to medium so first let's go ahead and swatch it right here and I'm gonna swatch it right over here once again this is Chanel and this is Charlotte Tilbury and I want to do this comparison because the shade medium from Charlotte Tilbury, it is not as cool tone as the shade fair. It's not as warm as the one from Chanel, but again, this video, I wanted for you to be really a guide to really, really help you because again, these are two iconic brands and I'm sure there's going to be so many questions. Which one should I go for if I'm going to invest on a luxury brand? And I have the products right here, so I really want to help you. Okay, let's go now with BK Beauty 107 brush. This one, again, is two medium from Charlotte Tilbury. Got a lot of product right there. No, it's You can tell these have so much pigment already. And if I haven't mentioned it yet, I do film in natural light. Okay, friends, so I have here Chanel Universal 390, the original shade with Charlotte Tilbury in medium.
I have removed the bronzer, reapply foundation on the right hand side. On the left hand side, I still have the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade medium. And now to compare it with the cream bronzer from Chanel, this is a new shade launched on 2022 with the Levage Collection 392 Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. Go side by side. Steel Chanel looks a little bit lighter, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and swatch it. There you have it. Charlotte Tilbury Medium Chanel Medium. A steel you can see is warmer. Patrick Ta number one brush. Here you have it, medium shades for both Charlotte Tilbury and Chanel. I think we can agree that even with Charlotte Tilbury, this one is not as cool tone as the fair tone. In comparison with Chanel, Chanel is giving me a little bit more warmth to the skin, while Charlotte Tilbury still somehow it achieved a little bit more of that chisel kind of look, even though this shade right here is also warm, but not as warm as the one from Chanel. I decided to just keep the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade medium and remove and reapply foundation on my right hand side. And now let's compare it with 395 Soleil Tan Deep Bronze. This is the deepest shade on Chanel's cream bronzer line. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. There you have it. This is Chanel. So you can tell with the medium from Charlotte Tilbury, it's close. It's not the same because I feel like Chanel has a little bit more red in it than the one from Charlotte Tilbury in medium. I feel like this one right here is more neutral tone, while the one from Chanel is a little bit more reddish in tone, but let's see how it looks on the face. BK Beauty 107 brush, and let's go with Chanel Tan Deep Bronze. Yeah, you can definitely tell the redness right here. It's not super red, but it does have a little bit more red tone. Medium Charlotte Tilbury Tan Deep Bronze 395 from Chanel. On my left hand side, I removed the bronzer, reapply foundation, and now let's go with Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 310. And again, on this right hand side, I do have that tan deep bronze from Chanel, the deepest one from Chanel. Not the deepest shade for Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury has a deeper shade, which is called Deep 4. Definitely that shade is not for me, but here I have what I feel like it will be comparable. And let's go ahead and swatch this one right here. Now, this one is very deep. It does have a lot of pigment. Like chocolate. <laughs> Chanel Deep. And then Charlotte Tilbury Tan. A clean BK Beauty 107 brush. And I'm going to go with this Charlotte Tilbury tan shade and I don't like to pick up too much because I know this has a lot of pigment
all done with the side by side comparisons done with the swatches right here and now let's go into what's the difference between both formulations both of them they do have this very much of natural finish i will say though charlotte tilbury has more of like a matte finish while the one from chanel is a little bit more natural although that throughout the day you know with the producing oils definitely with the one from charlotte tilbury it will become something along the lines of chanel i have to say if you remember the nars cream bronzer that was launched in 2021 thing was laguna casino they were limited edition if you remember the finish of that specific cream bronzer is very much the finish of the one from Charlotte Tilbury. As far as texture goes, these two are very comparable in texture, but again, not in finish. I feel like Chanel is a little bit more natural. Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more leaning into a natural matte side, which I think is ideal because on cream bronzers, sometimes if they are just way, way too glowy, way, way too dewy, and if you're thinking to use it during spring and summertime, sometimes they can become a little bit of a chaotic mess, and that goes into my experience using Chanel in Florida under a humid climate I think it works just fantastic and I can only think how well it will work the one from Charlotte Tilbury because as I have been trying the one from Charlotte Tilbury now that it has lunch here in another climate in California a little bit drier right I feel like this one right here it lasts longer on pigment. This one, the one from Chanel, does not disappear, but it will start fading away, I will say between the five and six hour mark. By the eight hour mark, you will still have it on, but it will be just, you know, like fading gradually. It's not a formula that it will stay with the same amount of pigment, for say 10 hour mark while Charlotte Tilbury stays with the same type of pigmentation throughout that eight hour mark then it starts loosening it little by little you know as the oils produce and whatnot and that's talking about these formulations not being powdered down which is something that a lot of you my friends know that I don't like to powder too much my face I do it from time to time so I do it during summertime but if I'm talking about bear the product you know as is without locking it like i said this one expect about a longevity of eight hours with losing a little bit of pigmentation gradually from the six hour mark and so forth and this one right here staying with the same pigmentation up to eight hour mark and then little by little losing a little bit of the pigment now talking about pigments definitely the one from charlotte tilbury has a lot more pigment than the one from chanel i feel like definitely chanel needs to come with at least one or two more shades right here one that will reach the deeper complexion and one for rich complexion too and even perhaps another shade of medium because the medium right now works very well for me but i think it's a little bit closer to the universal shade so the difference is just barely there it makes a difference on the face but i feel like they need to work a little bit more on the shade range while i think that the one from charlotte tilbury is more spreadable because of the amount of pigment that it has you can really tone it up or tone it down with the ones from chanel you're gonna get a little bit more warmth in your look while the ones from charlotte tilbury will give you more definition not all of them they are contour shades i don't want to imply that it's just if you compare them you can see there is more of like a neutral undertone on the ones from charlotte tilbury while the ones from chanel they bring warmth and that's something very particular of that levage collection from chanel where then again it just it's to emphasize the natural healthy glow that you get throughout the summertime which is that you know that warmth that's what it is the cream bronzers from chanel while the ones from charlotte tilbury they are more defining because again they do have more of like the neutral tone and then as far for which type of skin is it for i do have dry skin on the perimeters of my face a little bit more combination on this area right here where i have my enlarged pores and i have to say both of them they do not melt on my skin they look great they give me enough hydration and moisture without 
been a sleeping sliding mess as I have tried with other cream bronzers unfortunately these are one of the best cream bronzers in the market for that and also if you have more mature skin fine lines I don't find it that it gathers on the large pores or in the fine lines I feel like it, both of the formulations are actually very very flattering very very well done for being a cream formula that it doesn't go like like I said before not too oily not too creamy not too dry either perfect both of them perfect formulation as far as we are uh, you know thinking oh Charlotte Tilbury will last me for two years you know 24 months and the one for Chanel it expires in 12 months well uh, I have to tell you that I had had my universal for almost what four years so a little bit plus that it's not going bad as long as you keep it close make sure you use these lead very well close nothing is going to happen to it as far as product goes, with Chanel you get 30 grams, with Charlotte Tilbury you're getting 21 grams. Chanel, as when I'm uploading this video, is less expensive than Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is $75. This one is $50. Again, when I'm uploading this video, I don't know how the prices will change, obviously, in the future, but... Um, yeah, both formulations are great. I think the decision is going to come up on what type of finish you want for your skin, what type of final look, if you want something more, not subtle, but a little bit more natural, or if you want something a little bit more defined with Charlotte Tilbury. I think those are kind of like the key points and main points right here. Okay, my friends, once again, thank you so much for being here, for watching. I really appreciate all your support. I hope that before you click off, you decide to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share it with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye.